If you're gonna make great looking tutorials, then this effect is exactly for you. And the great news is you can use DaVinci Resolve free version to have it done. Incredible. We are in DaVinci Resolve and most of the time I think you will want to apply this effect to your screen recording. When you screen record you will have these bars over here because this is a different resolution. I'm working in a 16 by 9 resolution and you know the screen recording was probably in a different one. That's why I've got these black bars over here. So I need to get rid of those black bars. For this you have to go to transform, click on transform, and drag this point over here and get your desired frame just way in the middle just like this it looks good okay i'm gonna go back and press on transform okay so next step is to apply our dve effect which stands for digital visual effects where do you find the dve for this you have to go to toolbox over here you either go and click and type dve and then you'll find it here otherwise go to effects over here and then you'll find it on this list over here dve perfect get it drag it on your clip and then you'll be presented with uh, this screen over here don't worry we can fix this so now what you have to do next you see where the video is most of the time you'll see this under the inspector if it's not toggled on go and toggle the inspector on you see close to the video on the right you'll see effects go and click on effects and you'll have this dve so this is the effect the DV effect that we need. Uh, first things first, I'm gonna go and get rid of this border because I don't like it. Go to border, click on border, border blend, go and drag this to the left all the way when it's zero and it's gonna get rid of the border here, you see? Now, okay, let's go and position this screen to the middle and make it bigger so it covers the whole screen. For this, go to position, okay? Go and drag this to the left and then on the y-axis go and drag it down somewhere in the middle and then go to position and make it bigger where it covers all the screen you can go even a little bit bigger and then later on you will see that you will have to uh, play around with the zoom in zoom out position when you apply this dv effect okay you will see what i'm talking about so next step is to go to rotation and then you have the order of the rotation you have the X, Y, Z axis, okay? And then you have a bunch of uh, orders. You either want to change the X axis first, and then the Y, Z, and then the X, Z, and then the Y, X, and then the, basically the whole combination are here. Depending which one suits you, which one do you like the most? I don't know. I normally go to the Z, X, Y, and I play with it. Um, but on this occasion, I might go to X, Y, Z. Why not? Okay, let me go and play around with this. So let's say if I wanted to go right like this, looks pretty good. And then on the X axis, I want it to look like this. Okay, you see? And then obviously you see here, you've got this black screen over here. And in order to get rid of this, you have to go back to the position and zoom in. Just like this. And then obviously go and move it, move it to the right. And this is it, let's have a look. Pretty good, looks fabulous, you see? And you have a very nice um, perspective effect over here. Let me go and reset this, Command Z. If you want to go another step on this effect, you can actually animate the whole thing with keyframes and it really, really looks amazing. Let me show you how it's done. Go to the first frame of your clip, okay? For this, I'm gonna go and click on these diamonds over here so i'm keyframing the position and also i want to keyframe let's say the z x y axis i'm gonna go and keyframe this as well okay just like this uh, all right so once i've clicked on these diamonds over here what i have to do next i have to go and count 10 frames ahead one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay and now i'm gonna go and play with the effect i desire i'm gonna go and zoom in just like this and then i'm gonna go and change the x axis okay just like this and then the y until i see the black screen over here you see and then the z Obviously, you can see that I might 
actually need to go a bit less on the x-axis when it covers the whole thing. Okay, let's have a look what we've got now. Boom. How cool is that? I really, really love it. Let me watch it in full screen. Boom. I mean, this is really, really good. And when you do something like this, then trust me, your audience will pay attention. Um, and honestly, the possibilities are infinite. Really, there's so, so many possibilities here with the rotation, you know, with the border, with the pivot, with the position. Just go and have fun with it. It's really, really cool. Thanks so much for watching, friends. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it interesting and useful. And if you did, obviously, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. It really helps the channel and it motivates me to create even better and more videos just like this. And if you like this video, you might like this one as well. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.